Despite the frigid temperatures and a winter storm that dumped 30 centimeters of snow in the city, hundreds of women, including CAW activists, marched through the snow-clogged streets of downtown Toronto to mark the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day. Carol Phillips, assistant to CAW National President Buzz Hargrove, said the march should send a message to Prime Minister Harper. And here we are, the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day, and we're having to fight the Harper government for very basic rights. We're seeing an erosion of uh, rights that's happening. First action this government took was to cut child care, and since then they've cut funding to groups that are advocating for the rights of women. Um, we've got to fight these fights all over again. Phillips added that Harper should not underestimate the power of the women's movement. And if you take a look at the number of women that are here today in the middle of a snowstorm, you know women are prepared to fight these fights. They're prepared to fight them for themselves, they're prepared to fight them for their daughters, their granddaughters, and we're going to make change. We're going to take on the Harper government in the next election and we're going to make him understand that he cannot cut rights to women like he is doing. At a rally prior to the march, the women heard numerous speakers dealing with a broad range of women's issues, including Judy Vashti Prasad of Women Working with Immigrant Women. Today, we rally in March to demand our right to equal pay for work of equal value. We demand our right to unionize. We demand an end to violence against women and children. We demand an end to wars. The women's movement has a powerful history of fighting for a just and equitable society. The rising of the women is a rising of us all. But on March 8, 1908, 15,000 women marched through the streets of Manhattan demanding their rights. We were garment workers, and many of us were first-generation immigrants, many of us Jewish. Despite the successes since 1908, the fight for women's rights and social justice is continuing. Jenny Ahn, CAW National Representative, said the fight is far from over. That as of 2005, the number of women working in full-time jobs only earned 70 and a half cents compared to their male counterparts. Now that's a shame. We know that this is not acceptable, and of course this is why that we're demanding that we get equal pay for work of equal value. Sherry Hillman, financial secretary of CAW Local 112, is proud of the progress women have made, but is determined to continue the fight for equality. And although we've made a lot of progress and achieved a lot over those years, from uh, being recognized legally as persons, to the right to vote, to uh, control over our bodies, we've still got a long way to go. Women today still only make 70% of what men do, so economic equality is still high on our priority list and a decent national child care program for working women and uh, many other issues. The International Women's Day March brought cheers from the people of Toronto who, like the women marchers, had braved the winter storm. CAW, fighting back, makes a difference.